today I wanted to try out some more PvE servers. So I hopped onto this uh, rule playing server. I like the whole idea behind rule playing, and it seems like if I'm gonna join a PvE server, it should be a rule playing one. However, shortly after joining, I realized that my ping was awful. I constantly hit lag spikes of over 400 ping. So I decided to try something else. And I landed on this primal server called Rust for Noobs. The name alone just spoke to me. Apparently all combat in this server is uh, melee or bow. So that seemed pretty fun. I just ran around gathering stuff. Uh, still learning the ropes in this game, trying to learn how to craft and uh, get familiar with everything. It was starting to feel pretty empty uh, and boring, but I pushed forward because even though I kept getting killed by these stupid boards, I usually play modded PvP servers, so I'm used to animals being uh, disabled. But man was I surprised when I found that these boards are actually pretty deadly early on. After three or four boar deaths, I decided to steer clear of the boar until I was absolutely sure that I could take one on. And thus my journey began. I collected so much shit. I found this gorgeous place by the coast that I could build my base on and everything was looking great. I struggled to find any stone at the beginning. Honestly, stone was very tough to come by until I saw these deer for the first time, pretty majestic. Tried shooting at one, but it ran away. And long behold, I found stone right where they were. As I was mining stone, I ran into my first player. And apparently this isn't a PvE server. It's just a primal server for noobs. Because this guy had no problem shooting at me with his bow and arrow. He downed me pretty quick, even though I pleaded for my life in true rust fashion. I woke up in my little base by the water to find the same player stalking me and trying to raid my base. Of course, he beat me with his legendary bow and arrow skill, and he proceeded to quickly destroy my bed. And I was baseless, yet again, starting from the bottom. And this got me thinking, man, I really suck at this game. 30 minutes into my Rust for Noobs server and I've already died like 5-6 times. No wonder PvP is so brutal. <laughs> but in light of these challenges, I found it quite refreshing that uh, the server was actually quite relaxing. I could uh, keep most of the stuff that I scavenged and hunted. My base was in no real danger if I had just upgraded it. And yet there was a bit of challenge around every corner. You know, there's scientists, animals, other players. Even though the server is not that populated, it kind of felt right. Like I could play this game for hours because it has enough of a challenge to hold me back and still want to keep going. Not like a lot of these overpopulated servers that honestly just feel overboard with the amount of action there is. Now there was a real sense of survival in this server. So I decided to stick around and keep playing. I found another location to build a base at, somewhere more at the center of the map, less likely to be raided by other players. And thankfully I was not interrupted by any players, although I did spot a player riding his horse. But other than that, it seemed pretty chill. I upgraded my base sufficiently. Of course, I had recorded all of this with my voice and was planning to share a playthrough with you guys. But alas, my recording sucked ass. I mean, it was pretty good, but for some reason it didn't capture any of my mic audio. So here I am catching you guys up. I managed to upgrade half of the base to stone. The other half is still on wood. I have my nice little tool cupboard over here, two storage boxes, a campfire. It's right next to a safe zone so I can run for scrap. It's just so cozy. I honestly love it. I also managed to clothe myself so I'm not naked all the time. And I made myself a nice little bow and arrow and uh, picked up a mighty pitchfork. So that's where I'm at. Take it future MK. Thank you, oh brave MK from the past. I've been keeping pretty busy since you last recorded. Upgraded a bit more of this base to metal. We have uh, some metal sheets over here, over here. Unfortunately, this means that uh, the upkeep requirements are just higher now. I need a lot more metal shards. So I think I need to make a furnace so I can convert all of my uh, iron metal ore and in order to make a furnace, I'm gonna need some low-grade fuel, I think. So that's our mission for today. I'll probably find some oil cans near the road. Broken base over here. Another pitch war. 
my base can only stand for like five more hours, so I really need some oil right now. Nice. Super low on inventory space. Let me use up these bandages. Maybe I can manage to make enough metal fragments from the scrapper or something. Nice throw. Oil. Yes. Okay, I'm too full right now. I need to go back. Is that a bear on the road? Just threw away all my arrows. Nice, I killed him. Okay, but now I need to throw away something else. Damn it. This water barrel, I already have one. Let's go put it to the scrapper. Hopefully I have enough to extend my upkeep time. Now we have a thousand seven hundred metal scrap. That should uh, keep our base running for a good amount of time. Oh man. Oh, uh, one hit. I'm a goddamn hunter. Hey, nice. Okay, for 26 days. I upgraded it a bit. Now we have seven days. There we go. <clears throat> the base is mostly upgraded to stone and metal. With seven days of upkeep, things are looking good. As I said, I'm really enjoying the server. I'll keep playing some more and uh, sharing with you guys. If things get a little stale, I'll hop on another server. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video at all. Or if you enjoy watching a noob such as myself play random video games. I mean, I'm standing out here pretty exposed with my fire. Oh, fuck. This boar came at me out of nowhere. Okay, there we go. We're well fed. All right, anyway, hit that subscribe button for more amazing, patient-friendly content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.